Oh, yes. My face is extremely excited for the next game. It's the final game. And then I have to go to the airport to pick up a friend. <gasps> airport too. So let's not mess around, even though that's all we're doing. But let us mess around with purpose and conviction. It's Monday. It's fun day Monday, the closest 4v4s of all time. In the bottom side, we have the enemies. Ironic. From Team VK69. His sequel. Oh, VK stands for very cool 69. Whoa. We got Lou. Ciroc. I wonder if these guys are related to Blue. We got huge. <laughs> his name is just huge. Chris. 4C Tango. And Numo. <laughs> no one tried to find him. Oh, man. Attack at six men? Chris says, sure. Oh, my God. He's, he's slithering players. Huge is totally Hufflepuff. Watch the back door entrance also. <laughs> that's, that's an attaboy huge. I, I, see, I see where you're going with that. Oh, Ovi going over there. Oh, 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 oh Numo. <laughs> oh my god he got ganged up upon and then and then clawed up from all sides that's like being dropped in the lobster tank yowchers yowzos if you're a cat you might say yowzos oh he was on fire and then he brought up cats <laughs> Lou. I'll investigate over here. Uh oh. Oh my god, the zealot is protecting the backs. Oh god, look, I'm sorry, I was on the wrong side. I was on the wrong side. Quickly, micro. Ah, uh, bring a probe and. Nope. Pulls back. Now, this is a seriously pro high tempo team that we have about this north side. I mean, Numo is rapidly expanding while his teammates and allies are rapidly preparing to rush and everyone down on the bottom side. Primarily Zerg players are going uh, for Roach, Roach, Roach. No, just one. No, two. Yeah, look, they're all going Roaches, damn it. If you're wrong once, you gotta do it. You just gotta, just gotta roll with it. As we speed things along in this rather dramatic finale game. We see that Zealots, Mariners, Marauders, almost good. Ooh. Ironic is attacking by himself. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? If only that were in the song. It's like being in a 4v4. And then when you attack, you're the only one attacking. Isn't that ironic? Sure, sure. That's irony. You got you nailed it. Boom. Boomed. Full to see Tango. Oh yeah, a single Oracle from very cool 69 sequel. God, Oracles are obscene. 15 kills right off the bat. Sequel ain't stopping there. You know what the sequel to Oracles are? Beyond rays. Cannon air carrier. That's how it gets done. Remember that attack at six minutes hasn't showed up. Change link. Oh god. I want to make a sequel to Battlestar Galactica where instead of Cylons, it's changelings. And the way you find out is that after 90 seconds they just pop. They just explode because their their timer ran out. I think that would make for really compelling drama. Because you could have something like Jim and Pam in the office. Oh, what a romance you want to have work. Am I right or am I right? And right as the romance is about to work, Jim pops. And you're like, oh, he was a changeling. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. DT. Oh, huge is getting huge right now. Queens are going to go down. Is there a DT in every base? Ooh. Things getting pulled back. Huge gets it. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, you thought an oracle was bad. Well, you're right. They're way worse than Dark Templar, but these... This is how you Dark Templar rush in a 4v4. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, this Oracle really is excellent. That's 25 kills. 26. 
Seven. Ugh. Okay, the mutas showed up. And... Got him. DT's kind of got cleaned up, but... The action never stops in game number three of the Day 9 Daily. Yeah, they have Observers K. I took out expansions. Muterush tries to swing on in. They're going to try to take out an Overseer, but dang, that army's getting quite good. How many Cybernetics Core does he have? <gasps> One? This guy knows what's up. Oh, no. Going to have to speed things up. It's a Zealot DT Force to be forgotten. It's a Muta Force to also be forgotten. There will be no statues built. <laughs> I really wish that there was a statue built for that, because just as there are players who are a little bit off, there are no doubt generals who kind of messed up a bit. To General Stratton, who uh, sent a whole bunch of soldiers in and found out that there was no one really there, but at least his intel wasn't wrong. A statue to General Stratton. <laughs> Spelled stat. Mm -mm. <laughs> General Stanton. And here it is, moving in. Yes, Viad Rays, no match for Marine Marauder. Not when there's Mutilus nearby. <laughs> Every time I talk about a 4v4 strategy, I feel like I'm describing a hand in Omaha. I don't know if you. Oh, dude. Oh my god, that was brutal. Is there any of you ever played Texas Hold'em? You have very simple phrases like. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if anyone will relate to this. Okay, so in Texas Hold'em, where you get two cards and then there's five cards face up, you'll say things like, Oh, yeah, I have a flush draw. Oh, I have a straight draw into flush draw. I have top pair. These are very simple statements. But then when you get Omaha, you have four cards with five cards being face up. So you'll say things like, all right, I have top and bottom pair and two backdoor straight draws and a flush draw and a backdoor flush draw. <laughs> it's just like, so, so are you, is that good? No, I'm drawing dead. It's like, okay, <laughs> no, I don't know. It's really, really complicated. It's like 4v4s. All right, he's going to go Roach, Baneling, DT, Void Ray, but he needs to pull back to get into that tank range so that way he can use his Vipers to retreat. I want to create something awesome where you you receive you receive four four cards and then you see the flop and you discard three of them. I'll just call it Pinaha. I had a backdoor straight draw and a flush draw and another flush draw and I also actually had another flush draw, but instead I just opted to have an ace. And in in four v four, yes, casters do have to say all that. That is that's correct, Roto. Anyways, there's a game happening, and there's action going down, and Team Red is getting battered and bashed to pieces. In the income tab, we see that the blue number's much bigger. <gasps> Ooh, Ironic dipping out. So in the resources, we see that Ironic is stumbling between zero and two on all his resources as it gets completely redistributed and chopped up as though he has absolutely no say in the matter. His entire lineage has been eliminated. We see Huge getting all Zealot Arcani, getting a little charming. Sequel... He has some bases. He's got the Mothership Core. Oh, God. And, and more Ling, Hydra, Bane, Ling. Usual, usual stuff. Some Mutas show up. Some Void Rays show up. It's as to be expected. I mean, Team Blue. Normally, I'd say has got this. But those are Void Rays, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But so far, so good. Zealot Archon. What a wonderful force. What a wonderful force. Whoa. 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 What a wonderful force. Whoa. Marine Marauder, Zergling, Mutazealot, Archon, Dark Templar. With ups. Zerg, in the meantime, is yeah doing his uh, usual thing. Okay. But the one thing we're concerned about is the carriers are some of the scariest units in the game. Numo listened to counters. Void rays are weak against mutas. And yet there are almost no more mutas. Zergling counterattacks. Ooh, getting a little scary for huge. Back and forth. 
and back gain. The Void Ray Carrier Army starting to make its move. There's no Mothership Corps to retreat because we don't retreat when we're... That's right, we don't retreat. We're from Team Very Cool 69. Picking off bases. Looking back. Lou has some bases, as does Sea Rock. But look at the carrier Void Ray Force from Sequel to Sky Toss. He's 2 1 1. Oh my god, he still only has one Cybernetic Score. He's even queuing up. He's getting them done in a reasonable amount of time. How do you how do you beat that? Mutas are gonna go in, and guess how the mutas are gonna do? <laughs> They're gonna get there. They're gonna get out of there. That is not a good idea. Zealot Archon moving in. Lou has any units, which means that he is the direct anti counter to Zealot Archon. Zealot Archon is the ultimate badass fighting force. It is so cool. It is so tough. It's like having an army of Chuck Norrises that choose to die just to make it seem a little fair. But hell no, man. That's the man right there. Can he pick off interceptors? Well, everyone's Zerg on Team Ren is getting pooped on. Zealot Archon, too good. Too strong. Touche. And as I was watching this beautiful game, I was convinced that we were coming to an end. Oh, how wrong I was. Oh, how I thought. Well, this force got cleaned up. What are you gonna do, eh? There's just too much money coming in on the other side. These stacks of cash, way too big. Ooh, look at that money that huge and Nemo are sitting on. Ooh, excuse me, Numo. God, I bet that happens to him all the time, that poor guy. And I just had to do his pain. So we click on the Nexus, so we did get the Nexus. And he also got a little owned. He's retreating, he's trying to get out. Numo is just very, very overconfident right there. Uh-oh. Lou. Lou. Where did those Ultras come from, Lou? Now, Ultra Carrier Zergling Hydra Baneling. Void Ray. Very strong against Marine Marauder Medivac Mutilus Corruptor. Dark Templar. Building. Carrier. Mothership. Jesus. Okay, we got Carriers versus Carriers. Alright, who wins? It looks like the Ultraless Force is being cleaned up. The Interceptors are shooting down other Interceptors. I want you to think about that for just a second. The Interceptors are shooting down the other Interceptors. This is being at the front line of the Revolutionary War when he says, Fire at their bullets! Because if we can take their bullets out, they can't fire. Think about it. Now, you might be strung out, so take these keys and go drive to the car. Interception. Oh, shit. Chat is on point today. Wow. Whoa. Oh, man. Looks like Void Ray. They're all going crazy taking down the Interceptors. <gasps> void Rays are very good against Carriers. They are very good against Carriers. They are so very good against care. Oh my god. I'm on normal speed. I'm not even on faster. I'm on a speed that's less than what the game runs at. Here's what the game runs at. Oh. God, I know the carriers are target firing too, but that's obscene. That's obscene and absurd. And it looks like Carrier Void Ray is going to hold off Marine Marauder, Stalker, Mutilus, Corruptor, Medivac, Carrier, Mothership, Void Ray. And that's because of upgrades. There's also an Overlord over there from Lou, because he sent him there early. The Golden Armada is indeed quite golden. Number one. Because who gets second place when everyone else is dead? He's blasted forward, and suddenly our once upon a time grand blue empire is looking quite paltry. Three carriers get uncarried. They're not carrying much at all. They're like a luggage boy with no arms. What are you gonna do? Rub the suitcase? Goodness no. Bite it with your teeth and carry onward, friend. 
That's what Tango has to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's Zealot Marine Marauder versus Naked Carrier. The expansions are going down because Huge is about to get small. He's about to get a little bit size reducted. He's about to get his space redacted. Got him. Carries with good positioning, getting taken out. But, I mean, things have kind of been equalized. I mean, Numo right now has one base. He doesn't have a main anymore. That, that was taken care of. Huge has got a base. And uh, Numo's got another base. Numo's, Numo's our base player. Ooh. But if we go ahead and look... Oh, dude, look at this. Look at this Harvester's count. Look at this. No, like, not, mo, number one is 46 at Sequel, our mass carrying player. Who found Numo, and uh, Numo has been defounded. A lot of money between Huge and Nemo. But how do you have minerals shoot up? That doesn't exist for Zerg and Protoss. After much of back and forth of battling, Siroc, with a little bit of uh, non Golden Armada forces, some mercenaries. Huge, a very gaslight army. Stalker, Zealot, with a handful of DTs. Who needs gas, says Tango. A relative of High Loft Day. Numo needs the gas. What are you going to build, Numo? Numo, what are you going to build? 16 Corruptors. Everyone knows that Corruptors are the counter to air units, right? 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 Right. 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 Good. Air units. Build Corruptors. Oh, he's starting to shoot down all those little interceptors. Interception. Okay, cool. Huge. Wait, says Chris, in a cool way that a girl would like to receive in a text if she's 12. Because youth nowadays don't like to use actual words. You? That's way too hard. Just make it a you. By the way, I'm a local player. VK69 sequel. Chris has conserved two letters by typing W and then the number 8 between W, A, I, T. Scanner observer. This is Tango, a question many players face. Uh. 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 Okay. Scores are evening up a little bit. Siroc has a couple of mutilists, and it looks like ultras are no match for carriers. Tango building carriers because you know what? That other guy's building carriers. Oh, that's actually just kind of stinkers. He's going to lose the forge, but that's okay. This forge is ready to take up the charge. But the golden armada for sequel awaits. He has not three carriers. No, he has 13 carriers. He has 96 interceptors. That's almost 100 interceptors. That's a pretty useless comment. Oh, hang, hang with me. Hang tight, computer. Small number of carriers from Tango decide to begin to head out. Looks like the Mutalists have tried to decide uh, where they want to go. The answer is anywhere the Corruptors are not. Zergling counterattacks a plenty. Carrier counterattacks a counter to the counter. Ugh. Oh, and the Mutalist life will come to an end. Sense of purpose somewhere else in their life. Uh, looks like no, it'll be coming to an end because these are carriers. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I totally thought they were going to die for a moment there. Now remember, corruptors are the counter to air. Counter attack! Huge! Decides to get in there. Lots of damage being dealt. Lots of brutality being dished. Out. Golden Armada from Sequel continues to encroach. Everyone's trying to take out everything that is anywhere else. Siroc has left the game. Siroc is gone. In fact, in the Allied front, it's just Woo and Sequel, who's doing nothing but chrono boosting a whole bunch of Stargates. Void Rays this time because he wants to have something to get in front of his carriers and win the game. 
Take out the overlords. Take them out. Not because it's going to be beneficial right now, but because it's satisfying. It's like having giant raspberries. It's the pop beyond the pop. Oh, it feels so good. Little flying pomegranate seeds. Oh, juicy. So the carriers are coming back. Ooh, this is good news. This is the opportunity for Huge to take this out in association with his ally, Chris. And there's the charge up. Oh my god, is that ever not close. Alright, okay, let's see if Chris, with his marines, can step on in. Can get in the action. Chris is also, it seems, is very wise. And Chris is gonna, is gonna get out of there. No, oh, he's looking for the right angle. When is his trigger finger gonna step in? And he's gonna say, now's the moment. Huge. Oh, Chris. Does he even... He knows right here and not a second sooner. Stim and run. Slam your caffeinated energy juice, children. It's time to get the hell out of there. Zerglings managed to successfully escape with just two... Zero. Huge and friends, Chris. Numo. In the income tab... It's just huge. Who's getting some minerals? And it looks like, ooh, our Zergy buddy. Where, where is our Zergy buddy mining from? Wait, seriously, where is where is Zerg mining from? Wait, how did how does it say he has an income? He doesn't have anything. Right? That's that's got to go down. That's gonna go down, isn't it? Is he there? Is Ironic in this game? I don't even think Ironic is in this game. I think, oh my god, it's lying. He, oh, this is closer than we think. Yet again, huge. Comes in there to get... Feeling the hurt bringing. Oh, the, oh, look at these moves. Swinging down to the south side, annihilating the main, drawing all this stuff down, and taking out the Nexus. Oh, that's that foe be foe coordination. But he's he's got to run. He's gonna kill the Nexus. But he's kind of he's kind of is in the needing moment to run. He needs to get the hell out. He needs to run. Get out of there. Some drones show up. They die. He seriously still does need to get the hell out of there. He's so brave. Blink, blink, blink. Lou has left the game. Oh my God! It's just a golden armada wearing. It's just sequel. It's just sequel. Be careful there, Chris. God, these poor overworked medivacs will never be able to heal all that in time. Trying to pull them every which way. The last base. Marines greater than sign voids, says Tango. Where even is Tango? Is this Tango? Tango has six supply, ten minerals. And an expansion going down as close to the enemy as humanly possible. Go Tango! <laughs> tango! Marines greater than sign voids. It's time to find out how greater than sign. Right now, Chris, with 167 supply, annihilates the first round of interceptors. Okay. Golden Armada has begun to engage. How many Marines is that? A hundred and ten. Oh, he's on the run now. And it's at 90, 80, 70, uh, 60, 50, 40, 30. Uh, he, has, uh, he doesn't have any Marines. <laughs> I was... Again! Again! <laughs> All right, let's let's go to the Chris Cam. He sees it. Go, and oh, he gets one. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. I don't even think that they're, they, they have lasers. I think those are just swords. <laughs> Shit, that death ball, man. Oh my gosh. Where are guys? <laughs> Not where are you guys, just where, where, where are any people is what I'm wondering. Because right now, uh, my supply count... Oh, is it 34? Uh, Numo d does not have a supply count. He's never actually heard of one. Even mass corruptors couldn't touch it. Oh. Alright, sequel. Alright. Sequel's starting to hollow out these bases, and it looks like down on the bottom side they're beginning to rebuild their ancient civilization again. Ironic no longer has has any forces. Isn't that kind of ironic for a strategy game? His last bass base! The Golden Armada has heard. Base raid? Couple of cannons. Golden Armada. Oh! In the resource tab, we see the Golden Armada of 90. Huge, with a supply count of 90. Go. Go, says Tango. Go, says Tango. Tango with 17 supply. Oh, God. Any oin have production buildings? Me, says Chris. Me, he says confidently. Oh, God, a time warp. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This. Oh, this is so gruesome. I mean... Alright. But DTs prevail. I, I, I think... I'm gonna go left my team. Yeah. F oh, God, I'm just building Marines and Marines. Alright, there it is. There's Marines and Marines and Marines. He's hitting the A button. Oh my God, he doesn't have combat shield. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, dude. Okay. Uh. All right, so it looks like there is the Nexus. I don't know if he actually ever needs to attack ever again. He could probably just sit back and build up some cannons and then begin to safely move out, but here he is, a Mothership core carrier. Boy, Ray Force, clearing it all out. Oh, and Sequel has snuck a Nexus here. GG says Chris. GG says sequel. Chris, shut up, Chris. Hit his buildings now. Oh my god, the long con. Oh my god, Tango. <laughs> Get in there, Tango. Base race. Uh oh. Uh oh, the DTs. Finding all the probes. OJ. <laughs> the Marines are so bad. <laughs> All right, Prober is taking him out, and it looks like, oh no. Oh, he built it right in range of the Nexus. Oh, no, really? He could have built it there. Oh, man. Oh, they only have 20 support. Oh, dude. Hey, let me go back. Let me look at this moment. I just want to... Did he really do that? Here's Numo. There's the attacking going on. And, uh... And, uh, let's look right here. <laughs> Forps it directly in range of the Overlord. Ow! Oh. Oh, if that had been like here. Oh. Wow. Ugh. Mmm. Ah, uh, let's play hide and go seek. He'll never see me here. Alright, well that was Funday Monday. 
Um, next week's Fun Day Monday is a 1v1. Fun Day Monday. <laughs> Don't laugh, my five-year-old still does that. Don't play 4v4 with your five-year-old. Daddy, I hit a base! Oh, God, help us. <laughs> oh, mm. Next week's Fun Day Monday is the following. Submit to me a game of you winning or losing interestingly with mass contaminate. Mass, mass, mass contaminate. Now you might say, what constitutes mass? You know, either constantly contaminating him or having like eight overseers contaminating everything. Overseers with speed have never been faster and contaminate has never been less seen. So let's get some strats up in this bitch. 